snozcumbers. But if you don't eat people like all the others, Sophie said, then what do you live on? That is a squelching, tricky problem around here, the BFG answered. In this slosh funking giant country, happy eats like pineapples and pigwinkles is simply not growing. Nothing is growing except for one extremely icky poo vegetable. It is called the snozcumber. The snozcumber, cried Sophie. There's no such thing. The BFG looked at Sophie and smiled, showing about 20 of his square white teeth. Yesterday, he said, we was not believing in giants, was we? Today, we is not believing in snozcumbers. Just because we happen not to have actually seen something with our own two little winkles, we think it is not existing. What about, for instance, the great squeezely Scott Chopper? I beg your pardon, Sophie said. And the humple crimp. What's that, Sophie said. And the rap sprackle. The what, Sophie said. And the crump scoddle. Are they animals? Sophie asked. They is common animals, said the BFG contemptuously. R is not a very know-all giant myself, but it seems to me that you is an absolutely know-nothing human being. Your brain is full of rotten wool. You mean cotton wool, Sophie said. What I mean and what I say is two different things, the BFG announced rather grandly. I will not now show you a snozcumber. The BFG flung open a massive cupboard and took out the weirdest looking thing Sophie had ever seen. It was about half as long again as an ordinary man, but was much thicker. It was thick around its girth as a promabulator. It was black with white stripes along its length, and it was covered all over with coarse nobbles. Here is a repuslent snozcumber, cried the BFG, waving it about. I squoggle it, I mispise it, I disponge it. But because I is refusing to gobble up human beings like the other giants, I must spend my life guzzling up icky poo snozcumbers instead. If I don't, I will be nothing but skin and groans. You mean skin and bones, Sophie said. I know it is bones, the BFG said, but please understand that I cannot be helping it if sometimes it's saying things a little squiggly. I is trying my very best all the time. The big friendly giant looked suddenly so forlorn that Sophie got quite upset. I'm sorry, she said. I didn't mean to be rude. There never was any school to teach me talking in giant country, the BFG said sadly. But couldn't your mother have taught you? Sophie asked. My mother? cried the BFG. Giants don't have mothers. Surely you is knowing that. I did not know that, Sophie said. Who ever heard of a woman giant? shouted the BFG, waving the snozcumber around his head like a lasso. There never was a human giant and there never will be one. Giants is always men. Sophie felt herself getting a little muddled. In that case, she said, how were you born? Giant isn't born, the BFG answered. Giant appears and that's all there is to it. They simply appears the same way as the sun and the stars. And when did you appear? Sophie asked. Now how on earth could I be knowing a thing like that? said the BFG. It was so long ago I couldn't count. You mean you don't even know how old you are? No giant is knowing that, the BFG said. All I have known about myself is that I is very old. Very, very old and crumply. Perhaps as old as the earth. What happens when a giant dies? Sophie asked. Giants is never dying, the BFG answered. Sometimes, and quite suddenly, a giant is disappearing and nobody is ever knowing where he goes to. But mostly us giants is simply going on and on like whiffsy time twiddlers. The BFG was still holding the awesome snozcumber in his right hand. 
And now he put one end into his mouth and bit off a huge hunk of it. He started crunching it up and the noise he made was like the crunching of lumps of ice. It's filthy, he spluttered, speaking with his mouth full and spraying large pieces of snozcumber like bullets in Sophie's direction. Sophie hopped around on the tabletop, ducking out of the way. It's disgustrous, the BFG gurgled. It's sickable. It's rotsome. It's maggot-wise. Try it yourself, this foulsome snozcumber. No, thank you, Sophie said, backing away. It's all you're going to be guzzling around here from now on, so you might as well get used to it, said the BFG. Go on, you snipsy little winkle. Have a go. Sophie took a small nibble. Ugh, she spluttered. Oh no, oh gosh, oh help. She spat it out quickly. It tastes like frog skins, she gasped. And rotten fish. Worse than that, cried the BFG, roaring with laughter. To me, it is tasting like clock coaches and slime wanglers. Do we really have to eat it? Sophie said. You do unless you is wanting to become so thin you will disappear into a thick ear. Into thin air. Sophie said. A thick ear is something quite different. Once again, that sad, winsome look came into the BFG's eyes. Words, he said. It's oh such a twitch tickling problem to me all my life. So you must simply try to be patient and stop squibbling. As I'm telling you before, I know exactly what words I'm wanting to say, but somehow or other, they just always get your squiff squiddled around. That happens to everyone, Sophie said. Not like it happens to me, the BFG said. I speak in the most terrible wigglish. I think you speak beautifully, Sophie said. You do? cried the BFG, suddenly brightening. You really do? Simply beautifully, Sophie repeated. Well, that is the nicest present anybody is ever giving me my whole life, cried the BFG. Are you sure you is not twiddling my leg? Of course not, Sophie said. I just love the way you talk. How wondercrump, cried the BFG, still beaming. How whoopsie splunkers, how absolutely squiffing. Ah, it's all of a stutter. Listen, Sophie said, we don't have to eat snozcumbers. In the fields around our village, there are all sorts of lovely vegetables like cauliflowers and carrots. Why don't you get some of those next time you go visiting? The BFG raised his great head proudly in the air. I is a very honourable giant, he said. I would rather be chewing up rocks and snuscumbers than snitching things from other people. You stole me, Sophie said. I did not steal you very much, said the BFG, smiling gently. After all, you is only a tiny little girl. <laughs>